One of the common questions we get here at Phytech is, you have an older system and should you update the software on it? The simple answer in most cases is gonna be no. The systems have gone through a lot of iterations and a lot of software that have made them pretty much stable from year about 2019 forward. So if you have a system that's newer than that, I would say there's really not a reason unless there's something special that you would like in the latest software versions, like ethanol content. Other than that, there really isn't a reason to. If you have a system earlier than that, if you're not having any problems, I really wouldn't recommend doing any updating of the software. Uh, the only exception to that in really any of these cases is if you're really wanting the latest version and you're doing an engine combination change or moving a system to another vehicle or bigger engine, smaller engine, whatever it is, that would generally be the time to reset the software and you could update at that time. One of the big things to remember with the software is if you do move to a newer version, any tuning that you did with that prior version is going to be wiped out and you're starting over. So that would be another reason why you may not want to do that software update. A simple way to check the software though, is if you go to the main menu of your handheld and go to write Cal to ECU, it'll tell you the software version in the default files. The most current version that we're on right now is version T210 on the four barrel throttle body EFI systems. If you have something earlier, it'll be a lower number. I would say if you have anything from version T198i or higher, I would not update the software, really don't gain anything from it, except for small little things like I had mentioned with the ethanol content. Some of the later version systems also do have the capability of doing CAN bus to gauges, but that's really to the later throttle bodies that are already running T210. So that's just a quick little go over. Anything that pertains to the LS systems, you can update. Uh, you really don't lose any version of software from one to another where you have to retune. But again, you're not really gaining too much except for the super late version systems do have the CAN bus capabilities. But I do wanna let that known that early systems in the LS world uh, with all of our stuff didn't have that CAN bus capability. So it really makes it so it's not really worth doing. I hope that kind of clarifies that whole software situation. And again, like I said, in most cases, don't worry about the update. But if you do, understand that you're gonna lose your tune completely and that you're starting over. So usually that time is when you're doing an engine combination change. I hope that kind of clarifies any kind of situations with software updating. If you have any questions, please comment them down below and check out additional tech videos on our page. Today, we're gonna to show you how to update the software in the handheld, as well as load that software over to the EFI system so you could be running the latest version of software.